President Biden is promising to respond to an attack on U.S. forces in Jordan that killed three service members. It left dozens more injured. Doug Luzader tells us about the Iranian-backed group believed to be responsible for the drone strike. Well, the president says that the response will happen at a time of his choosing, but there are more and more calls now for the U.S. to retaliate after Iran-backed forces have hit U.S. targets again and again. This U.S. base in Jordan isn't large, but it appears to have come under direct attack from a drone at night. Three U.S. service members were killed and more than 30 were injured. We President Biden promised to respond during a campaign event in South Carolina. This is the deadliest attack on U.S. forces since 13 were killed during the botched withdrawal from Afghanistan back in 2021. But this is just the latest of more than 150 attacks on U.S. forces in the Middle East since the war between Israel and Hamas began back in October. And U.S. intelligence believes a group backed by Iran is behind the strike. We are now going head to head with Iran and the lives of our American servicemen are at risk. There are fears that this could lead to a wider regional conflict drawing in more U.S. forces. But thus far, Iran is undeterred. Attacking the proxies is something we should do, but we should also look at targets in Iran and send a strong message to not only Iran, but to Iran's backers, uh, which would be China and Russia. At the same time on Capitol Hill, there are bipartisan calls for the president to seek input from Congress. It should be a decision of Congress, and I would be hesitant to send any more troops into a situation where Iran is baiting us into um, into some kind of conflict. Now, at this point, the administration has not identified which Iran-backed group in the region is behind this attack. In Washington, I'm Doug Luzader for WDRB News.